Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are starting the video on the floor obviously because this box is special and I want to show it off before we get to actually reviewing the trucks. So this is the 12 pack Walmart exclusive online only thematic 12 pack for this year. We have had a previous Walmart 12 pack. I actually think it was Amazon 12 pack. I should correct myself there. And it had uh, trucks that weren't exactly the most exciting thing in the world they had some pretty cool graphic updates but this one is walmart exclusive because it's using the walmart thematic series in one giant 12 pack so here is the outside of the box you can see it has fire nice zombie vs hunter and gears and galaxies and the inside you can see it comes with that classic poster style that we had last time where it is a double-sided poster this side has fire nice gears and galaxies and zombie vs hunter uh, obviously these trucks were the only real ones which were fire nice and then we have on the back side the renderings of each truck. I'm just going to quickly look at them. I'm not going to talk about them because we are going to talk about the trucks individually. So here's the rendering of each truck here. You can see pretty cool stuff on the poster or the giant poster, I should say. Uh, so there's that. And then we have the trucks themselves lined up in the same 12-pack format as last time. And that's where the box review kind of ends. And we're going to go to the studio right now to take a look at each truck individually in great detail. I'll be right back. Okay, so the first truck of this 12 pack is the Gears and Galaxies Gears edition of Blue Thunder. And I forgot to mention when we were talking about the packaging that the exclusive factor of these trucks is the fact that they have BKT printing on all the trucks. The last time with the previous 12 pack, they actually did not do the BKTs, which made them a little less, I would say, exclusive or special. But in this case, they did do BKT printing for the fact that they're making a 12 pack out of trucks that have already been released before. So if you're not a big variation collector, this might not be the best pack for you, but if you missed out on these trucks in the past, this might actually be a really good pack to get to start your collections with these exclusive trucks. So here is Blue Thunder. As you can see, it has the classic Gears body. The graphics on all of these trucks are wildly better than the ones that were previously released. Every single truck has extremely clear graphics. I'm very impressed with it. So here's Blue Thunder. I'm gonna do a brief overview of each truck since we have already reviewed these in the past at some point. So basically we have the Blue Thunder with the white paint scheme, the matte clear coat, the Blue Thunder logo in blue, the gray lightning, Gears logo, the American flag, taillights, Feel the energy there on the back and the same stuff going on this side here. The black headlights, monstrum.com, and then we have blue thunder on the hood and the lightning on the roof with the blue windshield, the pure white roll cage, gold chassis, and of course the lunar dirt tire treads there with the white tires, gold rims, and of course these reflective gold BKT printing uh, sidewalls. So that looks really cool. I love the reflective gold. So there's the first one. It is blue thunder from Team Gears representing the 2021 thematic series in this 12 pack. So there's blue thunder. And next up in order of appearance in the pack is gray. Grave Digger Ice. This was a real life truck at Monster Jam All-Star Challenge way back in 2019. Of course, the Fire and Ice series was also part of the 2018 line, the first ever thematic series for Walmart by Spin Master. And here it is again returning for the second time on its own. This is a really cool release because the graphics clarity has improved so much since then. And you can actually see all the details that were kind of lost in the original diecast release. And here it is, the side panel, of course, with the Grave Digger Ice scheme. We have tons of little snowflakes all around the the truck that you can see now on the fender and elsewhere grave digger ice logo spin master monster jam the grave digger ghost in blue and of course that snowy graveyard landscape i love it so much and then we have the front here the only thing i wish they would have done since they are updating these trucks would have been to print on the actual front of the headlights or the full wrapped grill we did not get that fully done on this truck release unfortunately but here it is with the red headlights the icicles for the flames the stripe and of course the roof there with that grave digger ice style with the icy grim i really love this truck this is still my favorite scheme in real life for grave digger specialized schemes or at least one of them uh, blue windshield, white roll cage, blue chassis, blue rims, and of course those classic ice tires, the translucent blue with the snowy treads, and this time around, white BKT printing on the sidewalls to make it an exclusive factor. So there is Grave Digger Ice, and next up is the Megalodon Zombie. So this truck was recently released in 2020 
as part of the Zombie Invasion singles line. I also got it released with a Creatures pack as a zombie truck, but here it is returning for the third time now in the Walmart thematic 12 pack. The graphics have also improved on this release. You can see all those bloody sores on the sides, the Megalodon logo in red, the gills also in red with the blood all over the place, the red eyes, the gums, the teeth. This thing looks awesome. And there's the roof there and the side panel with some yellow goo as well. And then we have the pure red roll cage, black chassis, the neon green tires, or I should say yellow tires with the green speckles in there, neon green rims, and the black BKT printed tires. So that looks really awesome. I think black works really well with this release. I think red also would have worked well, but they did use red for something else you'll see in a moment. But there it is, the Megalodon zombie truck returning for the 12 pack with the updated graphics and the BKT printed tires. So there it is. And our first Galaxy truck is here. It is Monster Mutt Dalmatian Galaxy, a real life competing truck during the 2021 season. And here it is again in die cast form for its second release. Uh, it did get a release in the normal Walmart thematic series for Gears and Galaxies. It also got an exclusive release in a Monster Dirt Arena Gears and Galaxies playset for Sam's Club. And here it is again for the third time in the Walmart thematic 12 pack. It is the same scheme as usual. And to be very honest, the graphic scheme for the Gears and Galaxies had pretty good graphics at the time. So there's not too much different from the original release besides the BKD printed tires, but there's the roof shot there. It does have that sparkly clear coat. The ears and tail are the purple color. And then if we have the black tongue, the purple nose, and then the translucent gray roll cage with the cyan colored chassis, the blue bead locks over translucent gray rims, the dark matter purple tires, and then we have the blue BKT printed tires. I really like how they did this with the blue. I think it looks awesome. And there is the Gears and Galaxies Galaxy Monster Mutt Dalmatian. So that's our first Galaxy truck. And next up is our first fire truck from Fire and Ice. It is the Son of a Digger. So Son of a Digger did get a release in the singles packs way back in Fire and Ice 2019. And here it is again for the third time. It also got a playset exclusive release with the Fire and Ice playset, I believe in 2020. So here it is again, Fire Son of a Digger with great graphics improvement. You can actually see what's going on in the scheme. We also have the full wrapped grill with the orange headlights and the flames on the hood. And of course the giant flame pattern on the roof with the yellow Son of a Digger logo and scrap in red and yellow and orange. Then we have the yellow roll cage the red orange chassis, red orange rims, and red BKT printed tires with the fire tires, which are translucent orange with the yellow treads. So really throwing it back here with the fire series with Son of a Digger. I think it looks really cool. And there it is for the 12 pack. And our first zombie versus hunter truck. This is a hunter truck, the Earthshaker. This was one of my favorite hunter trucks of the series. We only got four and two of them have returned for this pack. The first one is the Earthshaker. The graphics have wildly improved since that release. And you can see all the tiny details of the rust, the hooks, the zombie arm hanging off the side there, the Earthshaker logo, and then this front area here with the metal piece here uh, put onto the truck. We have the Earthshaker logo with the chains on the roof and the hood all that rust detail going across the truck, the other hook on this side, another zombie hand, and some more hooks, some metal plating, the rust, I just love how the rust looks. And then you can see monstrum.com on the back there. Of course, that neon green ooze on the back bed, and then some more rust up there on the top. We have the brown roll cage, gray chassis, as well as the gray tires with oil specks in there. And then we have brown rims and silver, reflective silver BKT printed tires. And next up, is the next Gears truck. This is the Alien Invasion. Not my particular favorite Gears truck to choose, but here it is again from this thematic 12 pack. We have the same exact body as last time with the Alien Invasion in white. We have the logo in blue with the blue control panel all over the truck, the American flag Gears logo, the giant blue windshield with the white circle, blue headlights and nothing on the tailgate, white roll cage, gold chassis, gold rims, white tires, the lunar dirt, and of course the reflective gold BKT tires. Still my favorite out of all of them. These are my favorite tires. I love the reflective gold. I just think it looks awesome. And next up is the Dragon. So Dragon has the same ice body that we saw during the 2019 season. So here it is in a very good graphics improved format. We have the icicle horns. I still love these a lot. These look great with the blue windshield, the ice coming out of the nostrils, the pure white roll cage, 
blue chassis, blue rims, transparent blue tires with the snow treads, and of course the BKT tires in white. And our last zombie truck, it is El Toro Loco. So El Toro Loco is making an appearance as the zombified version. The graphics have also improved significantly for this release. You can see all those details in this scheme. So here is the El Toro Loco logo with the goo in yellow. We have the Monster Jam logo, the sores, the goo as well coming out of the mouth the missing teeth, the horns in yellow and black. We have the goo again as the flame pattern coming out of the nostrils with the nose ring and some more sores there. They did print again on the negative space bar like last time. El Toro Loco on the back there and this side, same stuff going on with the yellow roll cage, black chassis, black BKT printed tires with the yellow and green tire color and red rims. So there's our final zombie truck. It is El Toro Loco for this thematic 12 pack. And our final galaxy truck, it is Bakugan Dragonoid making another appearance, very similar to the original one. This one just has the updated BKT printed tires with the blue, but it does have the same translucent gray roll cage, cyan colored chassis, the blue beadlocks, gray transparent rims, and of course those dark matter translucent purple tires. And there is the Bakugan scheme, still one of the coolest galaxy trucks I've ever seen with the translucent purple wing and blue as well and translucent purple horn. So there is Bakugan Dragonoid returning for this thematic series 12 pack and another all-star challenge competitor. This was a debuting truck at the Monster All-Star Challenge and it's now back again for the Walmart thematic 12 pack with incredible graphics improvement for Great Clips Mohawk Warrior Fire. So I really like that we got this again. This was one of the original releases from the Walmart series back in Fire and Ice times in 2019. So it's really cool to see it again, but the graphics are just so clear on this particular truck that I really, really am impressed. So you can see all the embers in the background, Great Clips Mohawk Warrior with the face and the orange sunglasses, the tribal flames in yellow and orange, Monster Fire, the red grill with the red tinted headlights, great clips on the hood there in great quality with the tribal flames again. And then we have the fire Mohawk, one of the only new tools from the Walmart series before they changed the rule on them. This was a really cool release here with this fire Mohawk again, orange to yellow gradient with the yellow chassis, red, orange roll cage, red, orange rims, red BKD printed tires over those translucent orange tires with the yellow treads. So there is great clips, Mohawk warrior, Fire release again from 2019, now back for the second time ever in this 12 pack. And wrapping it up, it is the final Hunter truck, Max D, one of the best of them all, I must say, of the actual Hunter releases that we got. I think all of them equally are awesome since there was only four of them, but this one definitely deserved to be in this 12 pack. And here it is, the rusty Max D. There's not much else to say besides that. You can see all the detail there with the graphics improvements. The Max D really did get snubbed in the original release for graphics quality. This one has made up for it tenfold. This is so clear. You can see every different detail, the change, and all of the rust patterns, the yellow tail lights. I just think this is so sick. So there is Max D with the rustified edition. And then we have the brown roll cage, gray chassis, gray tires with the oil splatter again, brown rims, and of course those silver reflective BKD printed tires. And that will wrap up this Walmart thematic 12 pack review. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This will be available soon on walmart.com exclusively. So if you guys are interested in picking it up, I would pick it up from there. This is a great starter pack for those who didn't find some of these trucks in the past. Of course, if you're a variation collector or in the card collector, you're probably gonna be buying this anyway or if you just want to have them for display, they're great pieces to have. So there it is, the 12 pack. Thank you to Spin Master for letting me review this early. I will see you guys next time. This is Reiner Monster Mo CD, signing out.